and now you can see the mess. Uh, welcome to yet another teardown video. This one features a TV set. That TV set. Let me just zoom out a little. Right. This TV set died the other day. Died a horrible death. This is not going to be a complete tear down, though, because the tube is remaining intact. Simply because I don't want to deal with bits of broken glass. So, it's quite a basic TV. There's only one scarf connector, as you can see, which I used for AV. I've already harvested the power cord. Anyone who's taken TVs apart before, well CRT TVs, will know why I've got this cord. I'm actually harvesting the line output transformer for a chap whose channel I follow on YouTube. Hi Ann, if you're watching. It's quite a large TV, I think 23 or 24 inch, something like that. Right. And there is your insides of a CRT TV. The big chunk here is the CRT. Uh, there's a lot of dirt on there. There's very little left. of the power supply. It's very little on that circuit board actually. Right, this is the grounding strap around the CRT neck. Now what you do that has just earthed out the high voltage on the tube. Yeah, filthy. Right, these are the scan coils on the back of the tube, purity magnets and so forth. There's very little copper wire, they're quite late model ones, however, I'll just leave them on the tube, cut the ground wires that are on the tube. Uh, I will have the degaussing coil, however. That's quite a lot of copper in there. Uh, that's the TV. You can see we're not being gentle with this TV here. There's the wiring to the degauss coil. Let's cut that. <laughs> Warning, a large chassis. It shows how old this TV is. Alright, that's my... Uh, That's the degauss coil, which is almost pure copper. Um, Ant wanted the TV line out for the transformer, so I'll just cut the circuit board around it. Sorry if I'm in the way, but I know I'm in the way. There we go. Line output, just cut the cable tie there, cut the cable tie here. Uh, there's the high voltage focus. And that, well, that's only a medium voltage connection. <coughs> there we go. That's the line output transformer of the TV. Uh, oh, there's one capacitor on there, and you get a free capacitor. I will wipe this down a little bit before I send it. Nasty thing. But there's several dozen of these that I have. Not several dozen, several tens of these that I have. Now, what I want is the circuit board, which should 
There's one latch down there that I missed. Find the screwdriver. Normally you very it would be very dangerous to be bothered with this. We're not keeping the TV for anything, so what we do. Where the mains power connected. That's the speaker connection. There's not a lot on here. There's a few diodes. It's mainly the diodes I'm keeping it for. Yep, that would be where the tracking was taking place that was causing it to fail. You can see a lot of dry joints there and some arc damage. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's some arc damage around that connection there, which has got high voltage isolation slots cut. Um, it's clearly been tracking across that gap, which it shouldn't have been. A oh, little bodge capacitor there. There's not a lot worth keeping on this. 100 microfarad, 400 volt capacitor. There's a high value resistor. Two and a half or 2.2 ohm 5 watt and this shows how little or, and there's another 5 watt 5.6 ohm TV old CRT TVs are a good sorry I've just noticed look I don't know whether that's a bodge from the factory or a repair two series us two series resistors <laughs> But you can see this one's the basic model. Most of the interface chips are missing. Uh, the whole of a CRT TV on basically two chips. With a small chip there, that's probably the switch mode power supply um, control chip. That one there. Oh, it even says it's an E squared POM. But uh, yeah, there's not a lot on TVs these days. LM7808, 8 volt regulator, quite an unusual value. There's the tuner. It's that easy to remove the tuner. <laughs> it's much easier when you don't want the TV. But yes, this circuit board will be kept, harvested for any parts that are useful and chucked out. But because this TV is being dumped, Now I could knock the back of the tube, I could neck the back of the tube. Uh, I'm going to do that actually just because <laughs> it's easier. There we go, that just let all the vacuum out. <laughs> no, it let all the air back in. There's not a lot to it. This might be of interest to someone. It's the electron gun module from the TV tube that points the electrons at the screen, fires them out in a row of three, red, green and blue. Oh, I can smell getter. Oh yeah. That's the getter there. Oh, you can smell it. Anyway. Yeah, there's not a lot of copper in these. It's I'll see if I can remove the clips from that. If I can, if I can, no, it's glued on. It's sealed in glue, so it's not worth rescuing the copper out of that, unfortunately. But now what I'm going to do. Be honest, 
that's all I want out of the TV. That's a very short, nasty teardown video. Can now go back where it came from. 